Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and we are in good spirits today. We pumped a lot of milk for me, Babs. What is this? Eight and six. That's 14. It's definitely 14. 14 ounces, but it was a minute before I had pumped last. So I think I'm going to empty the pitcher in the fridge, put that in the freezer and start again with the 14 ounces that I just pumped because I don't keep milk in the pitcher for more than like a couple of days, which is what you're supposed to do anyways. But we had a target run this morning. I have four cases of water in the entryway and I begged the man. I didn't beg him. I just asked him to bring it up upstairs for me and he did. We have some ketchup. We have a crap ton of paper plate because everybody in the world at this point knows that I do not like, are these eight inches? Yes, eight and a half. I do not like to do dishes. So I do not want to have an excessive amount that's going to give me more work to do. Wait, what did I just say? That did not make sense. I do not want to have an excessive amount of what? That absolutely made no sense. I don't know where I was going with that thought. I have two of the older ones left. This is from her baby shower at my job. So cute, I took them home. Okay, so now we're gonna put these new ones up top of here. Ah, beautiful. I'm gonna make me a little instant porridge for breakfast. So I'm here. Today, Mia is a month old and I've taken some one month pictures for her and the baby are so cute. I think I'll insert them so you guys can see, but her face is not gonna be showing in the pictures. Um, I have this idea of like a concept and I think it came together nicely. Or maybe I'll insert like a little video of her. So yeah, anyways, I got those. I got some embroidery thread because I wanted to try embro embroidering on a little outfit for her because of course I went on Etsy to buy a custom little outfit with her name just embroidered on there and it was $40 and the embroidery thread was $5 on Target okay so um yeah and to each his own love those people for creating such a thing but honestly $40 to put her name on a Shein sweater let's be real if we're not gonna be anything else let's be for real so um yeah Oh, I love that this opens over the top. I bought her some butt paste because she had a little diaper rash, okay? And I kid you not, I was using the Aqua 4 um, diaper cream on there and this was the only thing, the only thing that took um, the things off of her butt. So now we're gonna just be sticking to this one here. Um, so yeah, but I've mixed it with, I've mixed it with some, um, I have a container of it mixed with some Vaseline because it's very thick. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could put like a smaller amount on. I bought her some little outfits too because as you guys know, I think I mentioned this before that when she was born, she was small. Last time I'm seeing it, probably not. But she was born small. So um, the newborn outfits that I had could not fit her. So I had to transition to some, um, I had to buy some, oh, this is nice quality. I had to buy her some preemie outfits, right? Uh, she was born 17 inches long. The preemie outfits go up to 17 inches long. So now when she's almost six pounds, she has grown out the preemie outfits. Last night, you see how this is zipped up on two sides, right? This side that the zipper is not on. I had such issues taking her leg out of this side. So I know that it's now too short, hopefully. These start at 17 inches, so she should have a little bit of time in these. I'm going to wash them today. I bought that one. It was for $8. I think the single ones were for $8, and the sets were for $15 on Target. And I had gotten a $50 Target gift card from one of my coworkers, so I just used it to purchase these. So, so cute. And then I have these ones. These ones are very basic. These are not my favorite shades. Especially, which one isn't my favorite? I mean, they're okay. And it doesn't even matter because one, it's not for me, and two, it's not that serious. Baby's wearing this inside onto bed for the most part. 
who's gonna see her so I have three of those and I bought these three now these three are very very cute and the one thing that I love about the Cloud Island brand from Target is that it has the mittens over it so I can cover up her little fingers because her nails grow so quickly and this morning at like 4 a.m her nail clipper fell underneath my bed or somewhere underneath there and I haven't looked for it yet but obviously I don't think I can find it. The other thing that I really love about the Cloud Island footy pajamas on Target is that they zip from the foot up. So you know how traditionally the other um, ones zip from the top to the bottom? This one zips from the bottom to the top. So if I have to change her diaper, I don't have to expose all of up here on her. I could just zip it to about her navel or a little bit higher to like take her legs out and then just change her little diaper and stuff like that. So that's great. So I need to wash these so we can start transitioning her into these because like I said, the other ones. So, so far we have three, six, we have eight. And I'm pretty sure I had about three other um, newborn ones before. So she will wear those until she grows them out like she grow the other, the other stuff. But, um, but for now, that's all we bought. And I bought four cases of water because if nothing else... I definitely drink water. Drinking water is not an issue for me and has never been. So, um, yeah. We have some water. So there's that. I need to pull out the machine today because it's quite a bit of stuff to wash with my hands. Plus her grandmother. I'm going to show you guys this um, blanket that her grandma sent for her grandma and her great grandma. They sent a white one too, but this is so stinking cute. It has all types of um, Bible verses on there. All types of scriptures on there. It has Proverbs 3, verse 6, Isaiah 58, 11, um, Proverbs 22, 6, Numbers 6, 24, Psalms 139, and um, 1 John 4, 19. So that is so cute. I have to watch those. So, um, yeah, that's what we have going on. I think I'm going to wash them and put them in the living room because I'm not going to cook anything today that they're going to smell like. So we're going to pop out the washer, get those things washed, and I'm going to try embroidering on a little outfit that she has. I took it out today. So, yeah, there's that. But my baby has officially transitioned to newborn, which is crazy because I thought... I didn't need any newborn, so I didn't buy much because everybody says don't buy newborn. They're going to grow out of it. They're not going to wear it. Obviously, your situation is always going to be different from everybody. So, yes, you listen to what everybody else is saying, but you have to evaluate what's going to work out for you, your situation, your life, and your family. Hold on. Yes, mom. I just like that the conversation with my mom was very short-lived, not even 10 seconds, because she pissed me off in the first 10 seconds, and I'm pretty sure she's pissed too. I cannot with people who want everything to be on their time, and I'm pretty sure that it's somebody somewhere in the world that thinks I want things to be on my time as well. But here's my thing, right? I have a specific timeline that I'm working with for a lot of things. So if I'm asking for this to be done within this time, it's because I know the timeline that I have to work with without having to explain all of that. And I just cannot be bothered. Conversation just pissed me off so bad. I forgot to put that babes was sleeping instead of this app on my phone. And I definitely need to put that in. She was up for a little bit this morning and normally that's not her usual sleep window. But I know that I, I wanted to take her one month picture as soon as I change her. She's been sleeping for about 10 minutes. So yeah. We're gonna kind of get the day going and you know see what I get into. I definitely want to do some laundry and put them out so they can dry and stuff because all this stuff can't fit her. And I need stuff for her to wear while I make some breakfast, while I sort out the milk situation. So I'll see you guys later. Sometimes you don't always have the opportunity to do your hair like me. So I bought me this little wig from Icy Hair. Icy Hair, can't believe they just shipped it in this little box like that on Amazon. Everybody has been raving about it. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see straight out the pack. What's going on for it? Pre-cut, pre-pluck, pre-everything. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of makeup on there. Let's just do a little concealer real quick. 
just to see what that looks like. So I'm barely just smearing it on there, really. I literally have so many things that I have to do. I don't have any, well, not so many things. I just have, I ended up putting some more baby's clothes that I bought on Target this morning to soak. So I have to wash those. So I'm going to rinse them out. I didn't even bother setting up the machine or anything because it just felt like quite the process. But also, had I set it up, the clothes would have been dry by now. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, huh? All right, so we'll do one line in the part, just because. One little stroke in the part. But from where I'm standing, it looks really good. So let's see if we can just do the bare minimum and be able to wear this. Because I think that's what they're saying the whole point is, right? Being able to do the bare minimum and wear your unit. So let's adjust that a little bit on both sides. If it's too tight, we can always go in and like fix that. Okay, so far, clearly, it looks really good. There are no combs on it. I'm definitely going to add combs because I just cannot operate without combs. I like having combs on the sides. But honestly, it looks really good. Just straight out the box with a little bit of concealer. I got 16 inches because I definitely want to be... I get 16. I want to be realistic with the length. There's no information in the box. So honestly, I don't know what I got, but I think I got 16 inches. Um, they give you like a little HD wig cap. But obviously, it's two pieces. I'm not using those. They always give you some ugly lashes like... Let's be for real. Straight out the pack. I love how it looks. The curls are a bit much. And if I'm saying that, it has to be something. Because y'all know, I'm a body wave girl. I honestly think it looks really cute. For something that you just take out of the bag and you're putting it on. Okay, we have a little bit of shedding. But that is to be expected. To expect it to not shed at all is wild. I think I paid $100 for this. I bought it a couple of days ago. I think maybe three, four days ago. And this is what she looks like. This is something very easy that I could just throw on when I go back to work. I don't have to worry about it too much. Of course, I need two combs on the side. But separate from that, like, I could just throw this on and that be it. I don't have to worry too much. It's not too high maintenance. It is absolutely great. Absolutely what I'm looking for. No makeup or anything. Obviously, I have my lashes done. But for it to not be glued down and have no combs... And it performs so well. I really do like that. I like how the curls drop a little bit more. So that's why I'm wetting it up because it's body wave. So the curls are naturally going to drop a little bit. I want it dry. That should be really cute. This is really pretty. When it's time to go back to work, I can see myself putting this on so often and just go to work knowing that I don't have to worry about it ever because it's so simple and so easy and I was keeping the box to see if I liked it because these days you buy things and it's not heading so but um yeah I'm about to take this off though I would definitely do the one baby hair that I'd normally do just going across the front because I don't really like too much baby hair but um this is cute absolutely love it Feel like it was worth my money and i also feel like it should have been the one that i purchased at first but also i got a good deal on the day where i did purchase it because they had it on sale anyways that's all okay i have some forms that i'm trying to finish filling out i have to fill those out have to rinse the two pieces of clothes in the bathroom I'm wondering what i should do first i'm gonna do the clothes first i really don't want to take the machine out right now okay the clothes are gonna be quick and then we'll go do this